Okay, so here's number 65. It says a voltaic cell is constructed using the following reaction. This is what's the EMF of the cell under standard conditions. So I look on the E chart sheet right here and I find zinc down here at the bottom. I wrote it up here. And I find nickel a little ways above it right here. And since uh, the nickel right here is going from plus 2 to 0, that's being reduced. So that's my red cot. So negative 0.28 minus my oxidized anode, which is negative 0.763. So try that on my calculator here. I have negative 0.28 plus 0.763. Hit enter, and my E turns out to be 0.483 volts. Is that correct? Did somebody try that? Okay, thank you very much. Now on part B, it's at non-standard conditions, so I need to use what's called the Nernst equation to calculate this. The Nernst equation right down here is set up for being at 298K. So here's my E of my cell that I'm going to put in right here. And then it's going to subtract the, the 0 0.05916 divided by the number of moles of electrons that are transferred times the law of log of Q, which is the products divided by reactants to the power of the coefficients. So the first thing I have to do is break up one of this into the half reactions. And so the one I'll pick is Ni plus 2 goes to Ni and find out how many moles of electrons are transferred. And to balance this, I would need two electrons, right? Because it's positive 2 here, and this would be negative 2. So it would get 0 on this side because it's already 0 on this side. So N is going to be equal to 2 right down here. And then Q, Q is going to be my products divided by reactants. My product is Zn plus 2. So I need the concentration of that. Nickel, of course, is a pure solid, so that's not going to be in the uh, expression. And then over here, Zn is solid, and so my nickel plus 2 is going to go over here on this side. So looking at letter B right here, it says nickel is positive, I'm sorry, 3 molar, and that's just going to be the first power because there's only one of them. And then zinc is going to be to the 0.1 molar, and that's going to be to the first power as well because there's only one of them. And if it was, you know, if there was a two in front of there, I'd have to square it. But there's there's only a one, so I don't have to. So let's try that. So then we have that number. 0.1 divided by three, and I have Q now equaling 0 0.0333 repeating. Does that look right so far? Now let's go ahead and let's write the whole equation out. E is equal to my 0.483 volts minus 0 0.05916 divided by number of moles of electrons transferred, which is 2, times the log of 0 0.03333 repeating. Okay? Let's go ahead and give that a try starting over here. So I'm going to do log second answer times 0 0.05916, enter, I divide it by 2, enter, and notice this whole thing right here ends up being a negative number of negative 0 0.0437, I'll round it to. So I'm actually adding this number to my volts, so I will do 0.483 plus 0 0.04369, that's probably enough. And I get my voltage to now be 0.527 volts. Did I do that right? Did that work out right? Can you guys not? Yes? Good to go? So that's letter B. And before I go on to letter C, qualitatively, we could have answered this question already and said, would the voltage go up or the, would the voltage go down? Because if you look at this chemical equation right here, the, uh, the nickel was more concentrated right here than what standard conditions are. Standard conditions is one molar, remember? And the zinc right here is less concentrated. And if you remember back to chapter 15, Le Chatelier's principle says that if you stress the system by increasing the concentration, it will shift to the other side of the reaction. And when it shifts to the other side of the reaction, you're going to shove more electrons that way. 
and therefore we're going to increase the voltage. So let's make a qualitative prediction about letter C right here. What will be the EMF of the cell when nickel is 0.2? So now nickel, standard conditions would be one molar, goes to 0.2, so it goes down. And zinc is 0.9, so that went down a little bit as well. But you can see that nickel went down even more, and so my guess would be is that the reaction would be driven to the left just a little ways, and so my voltage should be less. Let's do the calculations here really quick in letter C, and let's see if that turns out to be true. So E is equal to my 0.483 volts minus the 0.05916 divided by 2 moles of electrons, once again, times the log of Q, and this time Q on the top would be my zinc of 0.9, and on the bottom would be 0.2. Remember, they're both to the first power. So let's try that on the calculator really quick and see if it ends up being a little bit less than the 0.483 volts at standard conditions. 0.9 divided by 0.2. If you'd follow along and try this on your calculator, people that are here, just make sure I don't make a mistake here. Log second answer. So that's what I get for this portion times 0.2. 05916, enter, divided by 2, enter, and so I get a positive value for this whole thing, which means I'm going to be subtracting 0 0.0193 volts from this, so it is going to end up being less. So 0.483 minus second answer, I end up with a voltage of 0.46 rounded. 4 volts, which of course is less than what I started with. Hopefully you learned just a little bit about the Nernst equation and non-standard conditions in this problem.